Unless I'm still wrong, then let me know I'm wrong still. But I believe that's what you mean. Um, but yeah, I just got rid of it so I could always keep a knife on me. So I can start skinning. Oh no, no I'm, and I'm going back to uh, the first town. Speaking of salve users, did I buy splints? I meant to buy splints and I didn't. Blasphemy. Either salve or splint. Never both. Okay. Do you sell sponges? I wish this guy sold sponges. Come on, priest. Give me a sponge bath. <clears throat> a soporific sponge bath. Oh, and I'm wet. I, I need to have sticks. I need to remember that. Carrying sticks would be great. You don't even carry salves. Okay. Okay. Calm down, huge. Calm down. Chat, I had a question. The skill below below cauterize wounds in survival. Uh, what's the question, thief? I know I'm not chat, so you're not actually asking me, but... Will to survive this skill. What about it? What? I, I don't. I don't. I don't understand. Oh, up one. I'm sorry. I was like, what? Tables under against 100% healing efficiency and 10 restoration for 90 turns. That seems good. That seems pretty good. And that's new, right? The healing efficiency part of that is new. I think. Yes. What? I'm still wondering what the question is, though. Do I have any food? I'll just eat my pocket ham. I want to get in there as fast as possible. Does it add up if we use a Vivi after using the skill? I think so. I believe healing uh, efficiency interacts with life leech, potions, everything. Um, I believe any time your character would, would, a, would get a, a little number above their head, a little green number with healing, it modifies that no matter where it comes from. Oh, but you know what? If this skill has the 100% healing efficiency, this skill is providing um, way more, like a way more health. Because it's, you know, it replenishes 5% max health. But if you have this beforehand, um, if you have it like, if you use them in combination, it would be 10% max health for each injury. Mm hmm. That's kind of spicy. That's kind of spicy. That's intriguing. You like this whole path, Huge? I've, I've been pretty neutral on it. Um, but with this healing, that's that's like a big... That's a big change. Um, so yeah, th this this looks like a good... And I can take these points like already. Like I have them unlocked. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll take them, but I'm, I'm more intrigued. My points are getting pretty thin, though. I want to dip into armored combat. Hey, Japper. How are you doing? Welcome back. Not really still worse than a random skill in Vivi. Seems good to me. I still can't get in here. So this is what I was talking about. This is the door. It's just literally unopenable. So rip, rip to this quest. Rip to this quest. I created something that isn't good, but it's something for you. Oh! Well, if you made it, that's all that matters, Jabber. I'm sure I'll like it quite a lot. Um... Yeah, they might be worth taking. I, I could see those skills as being very worthwhile. Um, did you post it in the Discord Japper? Because I'll definitely give it a look after the stream.
And Thief, if you do end up using those skills, I, I would love to get like feedback from you. I'd love your opinion on them after you've tried them. <coughs> if you if you do grab them, because I've never grabbed them. But that buff, I need water. My throat's going out on me. <coughs> That buff to the skill looks pretty pretty potent. Like I might I might enjoy it now. I mean not always snork. It's it's you know, the game isn't just like it's you know there are you know there are times when a skill doesn't seem great based on the numbers, but it's effect in combat or is is useful based on people's play style or anything gonna take them okay well, well keep me updated thief i really i really want to know how good you feel they are but i think i think just taking a skill and seeing how it feels is a completely viable way of, of deciding whether or not the skill is good i don't think it always has to be just the numbers i think that's maybe maybe a, a little limiting i think if you're only taking the skills that are numerically correct you might be missing out on um you know, possible different play styles or things like that. Am I going the wrong way? I went, like, so far down. I was just randomly walking down looking at chat. That's my bad. Well, I don't even think the numbers are that low, Snork. I think 100% healing efficiency is a... Is for 90 turns. Like, that... That seems like very like like a, a big change. Like not not what I would call low numbers. Ninety turns of a hundred percent healing efficiency seems like really impactful. This is just one wolf, I'm definitely gonna fight it. It's two wolves, I'm a little more afraid now, but I, I'll still fight him. I just wanna get lined up properly. Hide, so I only have to fight one of them, hopefully. Here we go, this will work, this will work. Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh, I didn't repair this. It's gonna break. I'm still gonna use it. I'm still gonna use it. I thought this would work where I could 1v1 them, but that's okay. Okay, okay, let's go. How can I skin? I can skin with my knife while it's in my offhand? I don't have to swap that? That's really amazing. Ah, ruined one pelt. That's okay. Those were those wolves were really easy to take out though. I'm happy, I'm happy I did that. I feel much more comfortable hunting in the future. Ooh, screw that snake, man. I wanna kill this snake, I wanna skin it. Let's go, let's go. Even more loot. Let's go. Oh, I love skinning. I'm so glad I'm paying a build, playing a build with skinning again. It's just so satisfying. Yeah, the three the three health related stats can be a little a little overwhelming at first. Once you get them like memorized, though, it, it's more um, like reasonable. They they do have different effects, um, and they they all you know. Do you like ice in your drinks? Um, not really. I, I like, I drink like cold water and stuff, but it's just cooled from like the fridge or whatever. I'm not a huge ice person. My teeth are a little sensitive. Um, what about you, huge? I didn't mean to do that. Are you an ice drinker? For me personally, as mentioned, my teeth just hurt a little bit when I drink the ice. Absolutely hate ice. Okay, okay. Well, I can get down with that. Do you hate it for the same reason I don't like it? Just because the the teeth sensitivity? Or do you just not like it for different reasons? 168, 32, that's good. Those That was a good little bit of money. Why? Why do you hate it so much? I'm just like, I kind of just don't like it. Oh, okay, same, plus it's bad for your drink. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was gonna say that in a, in a cocktail, a single a single cube of ice, I don't mind at all. If I'm drinking an old fashioned, which I don't do very often, don't you know, drink responsibly, everybody. Don't don't drink all the time. Um, but if I'm drinking an old fashioned, I, I like one one cube of ice in it. 
or just like a frozen thimble or whatever. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Give me a ride back to Manshire. So I'm sad that I can't do that quest. But I'm happy that I was able to hunt some animals. So ups and downs, as usual. Ups and downs. And this looks fine. I'll go out with this. Well, Snork, it, if you're saying that 20 is a big number, 100 should be a big number too then. That's a, that's a really big number. Okay, okay. Headed to the ruined vault. That's going to be the scariest one. It wasn't a long island, but they were like four, 400 calories each. Yes, yes, that is, that is a, the secret they don't tell you about cocktails. Some of them are really bad for you. Some of them have lots of sugar. <laughs> Technically not allowed to drink, so I usually don't. Oh, okay, okay. And I don't, I, I should really, I don't drink, like, almost ever. I haven't drank in, like, a couple of years. I just don't like it. It's not my, not my preferred, preferred, uh, way of being. But again, I'm not hating on anyone. If you like drinking, that's fine. Be responsible, and I am totally happy with it. Oh, I had a sponge in here. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, I should buy pancakes. How's my immunity? Y'all yeah, buy pancakes. It's a pancake day. Pancakes and chicken. Pancakes and chicken. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go over the mysterious glow. No, Snork. I don't think anyone thinks that. I don't think anyone thinks that. I think we just have a different opinion on the skill than you. I think it, it looks appealing, and I think 100% healing efficiency is, is enough to be appealing for me. I, I think that we just have a different opinion on the skill, and that's okay. We can believe differently about the game. But I do think 100% healing efficiency for 90 turns is like a potent effect. That seems very strong. Hmm. Wait, my reputation with Bryn decreased for failing the Osbrook quest? Are you kidding me? That sucks. I didn't know that happened. It was just Bryn, though. Manshire didn't get a negative. That's weird. Rip. It's okay. I'll get Bryn's reputation back up to 3k pretty quickly just by doing quests. Should have gotten it above benevolence. Yeah, yeah, I should have. I. It's okay. It was just a bug, so. It doesn't share if they're above benevolence. Oh, so that's what it is. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, as mentioned, it was like, it was a bug that caused that, so. I'm not too upset with it. Bugs will be there. I will have to live with them. I will simply, you know, put up with their consequences. Okay, okay. I'm gonna look for the ghouls before I go in. Make sure there's none right by the, the entrance. There's just that one. There we go, there we go. Yeah, the bugs are gonna be, I mean, they're prevalent in games that aren't in early access too, to be quite frank about it, so. Pretty much always have to deal with them, but especially in, in games that are in early access, they don't bother me at all. Well, I can't say they don't bother me at all. I get a little frustrated when I encounter them, of course, but I try not to let them bother me. Because, you know, I sure as heck couldn't make a game like this. I, I, If I made a game like this, it would be full, full, full of bugs. Well, it's not like you have to, like, you can take this along with Thirst for Battle or whatever, Snork. It's, it's just a good skill. If you if you want to rely less on medicine, this these are the skills for you. It's just for a play style that doesn't want to have to use medicine in their inventory. And the new buff to this skill, providing, you know, 100% healing efficiency, makes it a more worthwhile skill.
I shouldn't have done that. I meant to do this one. That was a little bit of a waste of a turn. Oh, I need to search for traps. I feel like these rooms are trapped really frequently. Okay, well, good luck, huge. That can take a while. That can be a long process. So I hope it doesn't take that long for you. This enemy's pretty low. I don't need to salve or anything. At least I hope I don't need to salve. Oh my. Oh my. That's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. <clears throat> I'm gonna heal up and go back in there. If this was a tier 1 dungeon, I would just fight that many enemies, but I want to try to make sure I don't die, so I'm, I'm okay leaving with that one. Oh, only two armor pieces to do? Oh, okay, awesome, awesome. Well, congratulations, huge. I'm glad you got one done. The second one shouldn't take too long. Unrest, unrest. I didn't mean to be resting that long. <laughs> Might just get better boots instead. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, like, save scum enchant over and over unless I was on my, like, super in-game gear. I would, I would not do that. But that's just because I would be too frustrated with it. Mm, can I shut the door on him? No. I don't want that mage to be here. Nothing I can do about it, but I don't want to fight the mage while fighting this guy. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. A rat showed up to protect the mage. Come on. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Let me sip some more water. My throat's still kind of bothering me. So sorry, excuse me. So sorry about that. I was talking too much today, I guess. I feel like I was not talking that much, though. I don't know why my throat's so messed up. Bit of research, you do have the best boots? Oh, okay. Well, then get to enchanting, huge. Best of luck. There's a ghost. Whatever. I'll just take the loot. Oh, I was like, why can't I use my skill? But the, I forget this ghost puts it on a cooldown. Oh, let's go a level up. You love to see it. Absolutely love to see a level. Yeah, three is enough. Three, you should be able to do it. I believe you'll be able to save scum it, save scum it with three. Thank you for the GG, by the way. Thank you very much. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I kind of want this. On this level on my last playthrough, I took this. Which is very similar to this. They both just provide me a negative damage. This is more defensive. I might take this as well, though. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Let me go back to my maestry. Do I have everything here? I'll just take this. I'll just take this and use that as a way not to have to decide. Because Respite is a good skill, and I need the skill beneath it, so. Oh, there's the Necromancer. That's not great. Okay, there we go. They wiggled around. They they wiggled around. It's fine. They, 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 they... Oh, I... The bat. That's fine. I just wanted to kill him before the... I didn't want to have to fight the... the skeleton archer multiple times. He went down so easy. That necromancer went down. That was awesome. That was super easy. I'm going to start buying all enchant scrolls after getting in gear. Rerolling until I get a one. Nothing better to do with surplus money. That's true. There's like... I've mentioned that before. Once you're at the end game, you're incredibly wealthy and there's not much to do with all your wealth. So... Okay, okay, okay. Easy enough. 
like to hoard my cash. Yeah, yeah. Can't have a mountain of gold if you spend it all. Hmm, I don't want that dagger. I'm not going to identify it. Hmm. I might as well take it. I might as well pick it up. No ghosts twice in a row. You love to see that. Being ghost free is amazing. <clears throat> And as mentioned, this was pretty easy. The the I did one one dungeon yesterday. I might have just been playing poorly. I might have just been not focused up, but I really struggled. So I was a little little afraid, but this was this was fine. Did I just knock this enemy back twice with both hits? Did anyone see that? That was really weird. I like knocked him back, moved forward and knocked him back again. I didn't even know that was possible. I mean, I it makes sense, I suppose. I just, it just kind of caught me off guard. Did you find any skeleton with a heater shield? Uh, n no, I don't think so. Yeah, I thought it was kind of cool looking huge. I agree, I think it was cool too. I thought it looked neat, just kind of caught me off guard. Your mace has knockback chance. Um, oh no, I think that maybe this skill gives knockback. No? No? And no knockback on the mace. This skill doesn't have knockback on the second swing, does it? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really know why I knocked him back the second time. But it, it happened. That was kind of funny. I thought it looked cool, though, so I'll, I'll take it. It wasted a turn for the enemy, and it looked cool, so I will take it. Is my mace maybe the enchant? I thought maybe the enchant was knocked back for a moment, but it's not. Oh, come on, zombie. Okay, zombie went down. Zombie went down. Sometimes they're kind of ornery about it and live for far too long. But the zombie went down. <clears throat> okay, we're healed up. And we've been playing Stone Shard for about an hour, so this is my usual first reminder. If you're enjoying the content, if you're here right now enjoying my content, please follow my Twitch channel. It would truly, truly mean the world to me if you would follow my Twitch channel. It makes uh, just a huge, huge difference. So please, please follow if you're enjoying the content at all. Or if you just want to follow for any other reason, follow for any reason at all. But this dungeon should almost be done. Like one or more, one or two more rooms. Yeah, huge, we are almost there. I am so, so excited. I know I say that with my same like lack of like intonation in my voice, but I'm genuinely very, very excited. Like I'm, I can't wait. I cannot wait. I am so stoked, so, so stoked. Hey, real. I meant to ask you this last time. Maybe I did, and I don't remember. Are you keeping it real? Hope you're doing well, though, real. That was just a cheesy line I thought of I wanted to share. Oh, last run I died from a heater shield skeleton. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Um, I think I have taken out that same enemy so far. Um, and I, I'm, do, I'm, I'm better this on this character than my last character. But I think I have fought them once or twice in some dungeon. Um, yeah, that one skeleton just destroyed me, uh, like, two days ago. When it killed my character, it just, it, like, dismantled me. Keeping it unreal. Okay. But it's great to see you back, real. That's true, real. You're super knowledgeable about the game. You have the arcane knowledge. So I, d I accepted a quest from Osbrook, and then I went up here, and it wouldn't let me in. It simply couldn't click on the door. Like, I clicked it over and over, and it wouldn't open. I went and did another quest, and then went back. I still had a little time left, and I still couldn't click on the door. I closed and opened the game. I just simply couldn't click on the door. Um, so I was wondering if... what Was that on... That was today. That happened, like, just now. If, we're, if this is version 815, then yes. That happened, like, an hour ago. Um, so I was wondering if you would encounter that or knew how to fix it or anything. Um, it's not that big of a deal. Um, okay, yes, yes. I just wasn't sure if that was that was the uh, the patch we're currently on. Um, 
So it's probably just a bug with the update that happened today or something. Um, it's no big deal, but I figured I would mention it to you in case you knew, in case it was like an old bug that was like, oh yeah, documented or whatever. Um, or if there was a way to fix it, that would also be cool. Because I hope that dungeon's not like permanently broken. But if it is, it's a tier one. It's not that big of a deal if it is. Okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. If it's slightly buggy, that's okay with me. Well, thanks for the intel, at least. Why didn't I pick the door? Did I fail? I think I, I think I like canceled the, the animation or like the, the, the turn. I hit escape trying to close my inventory and I think I stopped myself from opening the door. Um, I just, I don't know. Come on, zombie. We both know you're dead. Just die already. There we go. Pick the lock. Ooh, it's juicy. A ruby. Um, the the leather worker guy in Bryn always asks for a ruby in particular, right? It's not like a random jewel. It's always this one. So I should just sell this. And my helmet. My helmet's gonna give me something good. I'm gonna get health on my helmet. Ah, slashing res. Whatever. Whatever. That's still fine. It's like good. It's good. Not actually upset with it. I just wanted the health. Yeah, don't sell it. Yeah, I will, I'll keep it. I will keep that ruby. That's good luck. So even though this ruby would only sell for like 200, I normally have to buy it for like 700 or something. So so that's a really good piece of loot. That's like a super top tier piece of loot for me. Stop bleeding me. I didn't know bats could bleed and someone told me that they could bleed you. And since then, they've been bleeding me like over and over. It's like when the knowledge entered my brain, it was like coded into the game for me too. Oh, I did my skills backwards. Ignorance is bliss. That is true, it seems. There is some truth to that statement. Shout out to Nightbot. Thank you, Nightbot. Nightbot letting the people know. I'm probably going to change that command. I think I'm going to put in my own exclamation point YouTube in the command so my, my link shows up every hour automatically. Make it even easier for the people to go and sub to my YouTube channel. I was just looking at it just now and I was like, that, that, could, have a, that could have a link in there. There's room for a link. Okay. Shout out. Thank you, Sloth. Thank you. That, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. I want Nybot to do that every hour automatically. So I think I'm going to just copy copy from the that command and put it over where the Nybot one is. I said sub and all the videos look great. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Huge. Thank you. I, I just chopped the, the VODs up. I've made some shorts. Um, some of my shorts, one of them really got a lot of views, and that was super cool. Um... I struggle to make shorts for, for stone shard content though. It's it's hard to like tell a story in like twenty seconds with a short and stone shard, so I think Valheim is where most of my shorts will be. Rimworld's kinda of the same. It's just this this art style doesn't lend to the editing of shorts. Shorts will die off soon anyway. Yeah, I'm not I'm not um very like passionate about making the shorts. They're just good for growth. So, I'm passionate about growth, so I'm passionate about shorts. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know how long that's gonna be there for. How long people will be engaged with them? But as long as they're, as long as people watch them, I want to try to make them. Cause I really, really want to grow. I am very plainly, like very blunt about that. I want to see growth in my channel. I, I don't make any, any two, any two ways about it or whatever. Um, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think streamers should be very open about the fact that they want growth. Because of course you do. If I didn't want growth, I wouldn't be here. And I think over the past few years, people have gotten more, like, normalized with, with statements like that. You know, talking about, like, wanting to, to grow on stream. Um, it's not viewed as, like, greedy or anything. It's just, like, acceptable. 
Um, I don't think I sell all oh, these jade figurines. Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.